what's up y'all welcome back to the channel <laughs> y'all don't know how many times i did that before i got on camera but anyway y'all uh welcome back to my channel um so today in this video i'm going to be talking about meeting my friend from prison um so i posted like a little poll on youtube like i don't know a month ago i'm gonna insert a picture to show y'all what i'm talking about so y'all know what i'm talking about what i'm talking about but uh i posted that poll um and it asked me like did y'all want me to upload a video talking about how I inspired girls to cut their hair short or meeting my friend from prison and didn't get many votes but it, it came out to be meeting my friend from prison so i was like you know what let me go ahead and make a video on that um yeah i like this lighting because I'm using my ring light so yeah I'm really happy it's really cute it shows everything clearly like <laughs> and all the okay so let me let me just let me just get into this story time so yeah um so this is a guy named Brandon who I um grew up with like you know in middle school and whatnot and um and he got locked up I'm not sure as to like why he really got locked up or whatever but like so he's like, um, he got my number from like a mutual friend. Her name's Jerrica. Got her number from um, from him and whatnot. And um, like he was calling me from from prison. I'm gonna keep saying jail, but it's really prison. But y'all get it. Really don't even matter. Y'all really get what I'm saying. Either way it go, he calling me from not being in society. So yeah. <laughs> um, so he was calling me and whatnot and. I would pick up, you know what I'm saying? We weren't really that close in middle school, not, but we're close enough to where, like, if he called me when I, I actually, you know, be on the phone with him. Talk. Anyway, so uh, one day I sent him a video, and I guess, like, one of his inmate friends was like, you know, Ooh, who is that, yada, yada, yada. So I'm over here on j -Pain, and if y'all know, if y'all, some of y'all out there dated some convicts, y'all know what I'm talking about, but if some of y'all... <laughs> Then JPay is like an app that prisoners and well not prisoners inmates use so they can like contact you back and forth You can send like videos and pictures and like little messages and whatnot So yeah, I think like one day I got I kept getting yeah I kept getting a call and I thought it was I thought it was from Brandon But it wasn't from him. So I was like, you know, I answered and I was going through the whole process again like, you know, like the Selecting if you're like the owner of the phone and whatnot all this like stuff that I was doing and uh, He was like it was like a different voice when I had answered and I'm like hello and <laughs> yeah this is gonna be so crazy I need y'all to like to, to listen to the whole story because it's gonna be like a crazy ending not really too crazy but it's gonna be crazy and be like oh my gosh okay so yeah um long story short he was telling me like yeah yeah yeah, yeah Brandon gave me your number and uh he's like yeah Brandon gave me your number and um I just want to you know talk to you and whatever yada yada so we end up talking and i was like a little skeptical about it because i'm like why is he calling me and why would brandon just give out my information like that like i know these people in here so um <laughs> we had like great phone conversations like literally like about everything like about things that i care about like you know just like positivity like um more so like be uplifting him like you know as being like a black individual in prison and whatnot you know just talk about real life stuff and you know things that i really care about um we were just talking and talking then like you know i put stamps on like well not paid for his stamps but i bought my own stamps to be able to send videos so yeah i was doing that and um so like we started sending videos and whatnot you know he was kind of cute you know he was, he was cute um so you know we just kept talking it was just like built on a f like just strictly friendship friendship <laughs> friendship stuff like it was just like you know casual talking back and forth and whatnot so um so we he was basically telling me like how much time he had left and whatnot and he was like I got a year and some months left and I'm like a year and some months and you're calling my phone for what like not that I was trying to date somebody in prison or anything like that but just it's like it's so crazy like you're gonna be in there for a minute but you're talking to me what you need a, a MA pal and that's that's what he needed y'all obviously because that's all I was no I'm just well but yeah <laughs> so um fast forward we've been talking for like a year and whatever you know I'll answer his calls I'll answer Brandon's calls I you just know answer calls because I know 
I'm that type of person that, I'm like a very caring and loving type of person. So I'm that type of person that, you know, sometimes it gets lonely when you're locked up and, and can't answer the phone. I mean, no one can answer the phone or no one's calling or sending anything. So I was that one person who would do that because, you know, you just, you just never know. You know, you're just helping somebody else. So I would talk to him. He would call sometimes. This is when I was working at FedEx third shift. He would call and I would answer and we'd be like, you know, yada yada talk in his favorite words and like, you know, all right, hold it down. He used to always tell me that, like, I can get off the phone or whatever. So the message to the car, I just threw away his car that he gave me, like, because, you know, I moved and I needed to get rid of some things but it was so cute like you know how you got like stuff written in the car the only thing that he written, wrote in was hold it down and I was like oh that's so cute <laughs> Cause that's what he used to always say when he got the phone but anyway so uh yeah we was talking for a whole year or whatever it was getting like really close to his date of him being out and it's so weird but that's when we were talking less when it was like really close for him to get get closer to his date to get released like that's when we like weren't talking as much but um yeah like um so we got close to his date and whatnot and then like he finally hit me up one day when he was out and i used to always remind him like oh this is so cool you know i do youtube and stuff and like you know i was just telling him like so he knows i do youtube like while i be doing videos and stuff so that's like kind of cool and um when it got closer to his date and one I was just saying stuff like, you know, um, we gotta do we gotta do a video when you get out. Like we gotta I gotta meet you, like, you know what I'm saying? And it, his his response, it was just like, No nah, man, if we meet, we gonna have to meet downtown because I don't know, you could be crazy and I don't know who you are. Da, da, da. I'm like <laughs> How you just gonna diss me like that first off? Like we ain't been talking for a whole year. Second off, should I be the one? Y'all don't think shouldn't I be the one scared because you're in prison for whatever you in prison for? I think it was like for robbery or something like that. But anyway, shouldn't should should I be the one concerned? How, how you? I'm a female and I'm just like little old me. Like you, anyway, I'm like all right, whatever, cool. We can meet in a public place, like whatever you, whenever you get time to. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really pressing the issue because, um, you know this is this is you know closest to when he got out and when he got out. So I'm just like all right, cool. So like yeah, he like yeah yeah he did get out. So. Um, I'm like, yeah, we still got to do this video. He was calling me, texting me, like, you know, I'm out, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to blow his phone up because, number one, I have a boyfriend. Number two, um, I know he just got out, so he probably not even worried about me because I'm just like a, what, I don't know what y'all call an inmate, not an inmate buddy. <laughs> like a, just, just somebody you meet. You know what I'm saying? Just a, what is it called? I don't know, but, yeah, so, um, it's so crazy. So he was just like being like real hesitant to meet me. I'm like, oh, let's meet. Let's meet one day. Like, let's meet. Let's just meet so we can just get the video over so I can show y'all. Because I was been to, I was supposed to like been have this video out that um, I was going to meet a guy from prison. And then eventually, you know, put the video out of me meeting him so y'all can see who I'm talking about. Which is so crazy. Because he's actually a nice, you know, nice guy when I, um, so <laughs> let me just, this is just, this, 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 this is where it gets crazy at. So. I was on my way to Dollar Tree because um, that's where I got like my pans, pots, everything for my house basically. Like little mops, a broom, all that. I got a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree and whatnot. Um, of course, I went to like Walmart and big lots of other places too. But like Dollar Tree was the main, main spot to get the necessity things that I needed. So <laughs> I pull up right this i pulled up and you okay before i even tell you what happened he used to tell me like um yeah we're gonna have to meet up yada 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 um in a public place and he was like my baby mama crazy she stabbed me one time like so i'm like oh, okay so keep that in mind so i pull up the dollar tree and i'm literally pulling in like i said i've been talking to this guy for a year over sending videos and pictures and whatnot so i know what he looks like so i'm pulling into dollar tree and I literally see him and like we lock eyes, right? While I'm like pulling in and I also see this female that he's with and like she, <laughs> I also see this female that he's with. So I'm thinking in my head automatically like, oh my gosh, that's probably his big mama or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That he's staying with, talking to, whatever. Like, so I'm still pulling into Dollar Tree. Like I pull like a couple, like, you know, uh, sparking, that parking spaces down so I won't be like, you know, too close to one eye, but he's still like looking over at me. Like I can still see him and stuff. And we're like, he had like a locked eye, like, oh, and I'm just looking at the female's face and his face at the same time. Like, okay. So I waited a couple of times. I was like in the car and I waited and I'm like, 
all right um let me just wait because if this is his girl then i don't want her per flipping thinking that we got something going on and if it's not okay cool but it's like i don't know if he was gonna approach me or talk to me anything because i don't know because he was being so hesitant about me in the first place so it was like are we gonna are we gonna do this or not so uh <laughs> it's so funny so i waited a few seconds then i got out the car and he was like is that diamond or something like that i think he said is that diamond while i was pulling up he said because when i got out the car like um, that's what he told me, like, you know, I said that, it slipped out, I didn't even mean to say it, but anyway, his girl, his baby mama, whatever, was, like, coming to me and was like, like, who are you? Like, who is this? Da -da -da -da. I'm like, you know, it's not even like that or whatever, but, you know, she mad because guys it, it, she she was just upset and i'm like oh my god this is like really awkward like she just kept coming close to me so i was like you know stepping to her too like hey like it's not even like that and don't even don't even think like that nothing like that you know what i'm saying and like <laughs> after like that little awkward awkward like meeting and whatnot like she had went into the store he like gave me a hug and started talking to me like oh this is so crazy yada yada, yada and whatnot and i was like oh you know i don't want to like you know <laughs> make anybody mad like um you know i don't want to make 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 them have like a problem or anything because i wanted her thinking that it, anything that it wasn't but yeah so like that was like the first time we had met in person and it wasn't even supposed to be it wasn't even supposed to happen like that's so crazy right <laughs> so look that's 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 one crazy thing but then the guy brandon who basically gave my information to outlaw for him to call me i later that day after i went from dollar tree i went to walmart and i saw his mom and i'm like aren't you brandon's mom and she's like yeah and then i just told her like oh i grew up with him it was just so crazy so yeah like i don't know like that's that that's that's crazy y'all that's my little <laughs> that's my little story like that's so crazy because um yeah, I still, like, okay, so, like, we don't talk as much, obviously, because, you know, he ain't locked up and have nobody to talk to or can just talk, talk to any girls he wants to because, obviously, he dealing with his baby's mother or whatever. But that is just, that's just so crazy. So, <laughs> if I do meet him, like, a uh, actual meetup, like, that's, like, supposed to be planned and that's going to happen, I'm definitely, excuse me, I'm definitely going to, like, put him on the camera so y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Like, yeah, I don't know. That was just so crazy. That was just... <laughs> that was just crazy. But, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. That's just so crazy. He just actually texted me the other day and was asking for some stamps and, like, for me to send him some. And I'm like, how do I do that? I don't, I don't even know. But that was my little story time, y'all. I love this little ring light. It, like, really brightens up my face. A cute little face in my little head and whatnot i'm off for like three days in a row so hopefully i can do like you know a bunch of videos and whatnot and upload it because y'all know i'm in my own apartment so i'm so happy um yeah so hope y'all like this video if y'all want me to do any more story times or anything just let me know if y'all want to know any questions about me i don't know just just ask me <laughs> and i'll just respond and make videos because i want to you know i don't know make videos and when I interact with y'all like when y'all talk to me it's kind of cool you know <laughs> but anywho y'all yeah that was my little story time about me meeting my little friend from prison but yeah so I'll talk to y'all in my next video hopefully I don't know what the it's gonna be about but yeah see y'all later